Cody Rhodes, who we've talked about before, has quit AEW, which is kind of big. And Cody and his wife left AEW. Uh, AEW All Elite Wrestling issued a statement on it, thanking Cody. Everyone thinks he's going to go to the WWE, which is uh, unfathomable. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. He was uh, on the executive branch of AEW. And I guess they're assuming that he's going to be part of WrestleMania. Maybe he got an offer he couldn't refuse. I don't know. Who the fuck would care if Cody's coming? I mean, look, the fans fucking hate Cody. Like, I don't understand. Rhodes would be welcome back in grand fashion. The fuck he would be. The red carpet would be rolled out for him? No. The fucking golden shovel would come out for him. I don't understand. They think he's going to get the same treatment Edge got? No fucking way. I think Cody's very valuable, but I don't understand. I mean, like, maybe this is the heel turn? <laughs> maybe this is maybe this is finally the heel turn. I mean, I guess it would be a hell of a run if he would do his heel turn in, in WWE instead of AEW and just fucking shoot on AEW every night and what a shitbag company it is. I would be kind of riveted on that. I, you know, I I would say I would watch the shit out of that. I mean, he could be the biggest heel in the history of heels and maybe that appeals to him. I mean, we'll have to wait and see what the fuck he does. I don't think he's going to go to WWE. I think that's all bullshit. But we'll see. AJ Styles would like to see Cody Rhodes in the... This was like... This was old news that he was going to go to the, the Royal Rumble. And that didn't happen. I mean, this these speculations happen all the time and it doesn't necessarily mean anything. Yeah, I don't I don't know what Cody's deal is. I don't I don't understand it. No one understands Cody Rhodes. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a shame that his AEW run ends this way in like no fanfare whatsoever. That's weird. Impact? He's not going to go to Impact. I don't think he's going to wrestle. I mean, is it an option that he doesn't wrestle for a year or two? I think Cody's just out, man. Honestly, I think Cody's had it with your shit. I mean, I think that's what it comes down to is Cody just doesn't want to hear it any for a bit. Like, the fans were just kind of fucked up to Cody and his wife. More so his wife than Cody. Like, Cody, whatever, I, he can take it. But, like, uh, the AEW fans treated his wife like shit. I, his wife is terrible on the mic. His wife is terrible in the ring. But people were like chewing, uh, cheering her spousal abuse. Like there's a guy in the ring, Dan Lambert, shooting on Brandy in the ring, saying that he'd like to slap her around. And the crowd's like, yeah, slap Brandy. Like, what the fuck? I'm like, okay, fans. Like, AEW fans' lowest moment had to be that. Dan Lambert shooting on on Brandy in the ring and the fans totally backing Dan Lambert was probably the most disgusting thing that's ever been televised. Short of anything on WWE, which is all disgusting. But, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that would have me be like, all right, maybe it's time to go. Maybe there's no way to win these motherfuckers back. Like, maybe it's just time to chill out for a year or two.
Yeah, those are some hell those are some crazy quotes. <laughs> well, Boogeyman signed with the WWE, so he's not gonna replace Cody in AW. <laughs> it was a horrible segment. It was very awkward. Um a lot of the recent segments with Cody in the ring or Brandy have been horribly awkward. Short of the ladder match. And I can see why he would take his exit on the ladder match. Like, no one could dispute that the ladder match was insane. Is it a work? Is it... Yeah, Because, I mean, it's professional wrestling. Like, you always have to ask yourself, is it real or is it fake? Uh, Cody is great at blurring the line. So, who knows? Um, who knows what's real, what's fake, what's happening... We're certainly talking about it, so he succeeded at that level. That spot's insane. That and there's nothing fake about that. <laughs> That's one of the best spots in all of wrestling. And he's leaving on that note. So that's a good way to leave, in my opinion. And I'm, maybe he felt the same way. He's like, you know what? This is as good as it gets. Taking time off to get the fans to forget, and then he'll come back at an opportune time to regain his babyface status. Possible. Possible. Or he'll go to WWE and be the biggest heel you've ever fucking seen. He'll give you your heel turn. He won't be face in a... Like, I almost want to go back and watch every single, like, spot that he's done for the last year and look for the hidden meaning. Because either he's like a total fucking idiot or he's a total fucking genius or, and I guess, you know, it's probably somewhere in between, but maybe he telegraphed this because he was saying shit in the ring. Like, you know, I will never be a heel in this company. <laughs> like I will never be a heel here. I would never be a heel in this ring, but maybe he'll be a heel in another ring. And maybe that's what it's all about. Who knows? No one knows. But I mean, we'll all, we'll all watch. So he's got that going for him. It's like people fucking care. It's like, this is, this is like the biggest wrestling news. So in that regard, he's winning. Like more than any other wrestler right now, he's the most talked about wrestler in the world. So he won that. He did great. He's, he's going to be judged, you know, in history. At the moment, we all have strong feelings one way or another. And it's only time will tell whether this was, whether his legacy was, you know, genius or tragic. Who knows? It's really hard to say while we're in the middle of it because he's doing such like kind of outside the box things. Starting AEW was insane and successful and no one thought it could happen. And he did that. So if he's capable of doing something like AW, I don't know what he's capable of. I don't know where, what he's doing. No one could fathom it. Yeah, that's the, that's, that's a valid fear. All right. So people think, I mean, the fear is he'll go to WWE that he's being used, right? We, we, we still, we don't want Cody to get played. We don't want him to end up in WWE and then get buried. But I don't I don't think it's that. I don't think he'll let that happen. I mean, I think he's going to get whatever he needs to get. I mean, Cody's a very smart businessman. You can say whatever you want about him in the ring or the choices he's making, but he's extremely successful. He has multiple reality TV shows. Uh, he's all over the goddamn place. He's one of the most highly visible wrestlers or people in the world. So he's doing very fucking well for himself. He's not a stupid person. So whatever he's doing is definitely going to benefit him. He's not going to get abused. It'll, it'll work out for him. He's got a lot of options. I mean, who knows? Like, I don't understand that, that concept where he's just going to head out like this. But maybe it's part of the play, or maybe he was fed up. I, I don't know. We don't know. What I'm going to be really fascinated to know is that um, what I really want to know 
is like a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, when he finally tells us everything that was happening in his mind and divulges all the angles and and lays out how th this was supposed to go down and how it really went down. That's what I want to know. That's the story I want to hear. Like he's, he's laying the fact, Cody's book, when Cody writes his book, it will be one of the most purchased books ever. We are all be so fascinated to know what the fuck was going through his head through his entire career. I don't read a lot of books, but when Cody writes his autobiography, I will read the shit out of that book because it is bound to be fascinating. Like, I really want to know what is, what has been going on this whole time for, in his mind. Because watching it from the outside, it's mind-boggling. We have no idea what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> I, who wouldn't see that, though? I mean, I mean, that's a big match. I mean, going back to the WWE just so he can fight Triple H. I mean, Triple H is out of the company, too, though. I don't know if that's going to happen. But look, anything's possible, right? Money can make shit go down. If Cody and Triple H were going to fight and the only place for that to happen would be inside a WWE ring, like, let's do it. Yeah, I got to read all these. I haven't read all the biographies. Mick Foley, Jericho, Terry Funk. Moxley just had one I hear is really good. It's great. So we're looking forward to seeing Cody's. All right. I'll, I think I'll throw this on YouTube. YouTubers, you like this sort of thing? Let me know. Let Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below. Cody's big news. People are going to be speculating about this until whatever happens, happens. What do you think is happening with Cody? Where do you think he's going? Do you think this was smart? What do you, what, how is his legacy affected by this? Is this crazy? It's a great ladder match. I'm just sad we don't get to see more of an AEW tomorrow. I think the fans owe Cody an apology. And they definitely owe his wife an apology. Yo, straight up, AEW fans, you are fucked up towards Brandy. And if this whole thing is just him telling you to fuck off because you were fucked up to his wife, I could totally understand that too. You can trust me. I'm Mr. Hartgrave. Grave diggers. Keep digging.